Hello, Just Too Good here, and recently LEGO Ideas ran a music-based contest called Music To Our Ears. Now, how this worked was that there was project submissions, and then judges would choose 10 entries, where one of the 10 entries would win a fan vote and get a whole bunch of LEGO Ideas swag. I mean, that is a lot of LEGO Ideas right there. At the end of the day, the winner was the Daft Punk concert with LEGO Night Mode, but that doesn't mean that this is going to become a set. All 10 of these are considered to become the set, and there's Jazz Quartet, Leg Gorillas, Music Modular, Mr. Radio, Long Live Queen, Legendary Stratocaster, Ludwig von Beethoven, The Last Organ Grinder, and unfortunately they said 10 submissions but there's just 9 here so I guess either they just didn't get as much submissions so they were like okay we gotta cut it at 9 or maybe one of the submissions was like copied or something or they the owner wanted to take it off or something I don't know. So I want to take a look at all nine of these and see which one has the most potential of becoming a LEGO Ideas set because they said they're doing a special review phase just for these sets where one might become a LEGO Ideas set. And they said maybe none of them will become a LEGO Ideas set, but there's a chance one might. So we'll see which one I think might be. And I got to put my context of what music means to me. I'm not a musician. I played saxophone in sixth grade as a beginner band and then in seventh grade as intermediate band. I was so bad at it, I didn't even advance. I went an intermediate band again in eighth grade. <laughs> so I'm not a musician, but I love music. I'm not passionate about music. I don't know much about music, so I'm sorry if I get anything wrong in this specific video. I'm sure musicians will correct me in the comments, but there are bands and artists I love, and also I love listening to music, whether mostly video game music, but I also love regular music and stuff like that. So anyways. Daft Punk is a band I love. I love a lot of their music. I love uh, Touch is probably one of my favorite songs. Harder, Better, Faster, Stronger, you know, typical. But Veritas Q is another great one. Uh, Digital Love is fantastic. On Off, Steam, Machine, all that stuff's great. So I love Daft Punk, and I'm not in the Daft Punk fandom or anything like that, so I, I'm not too attached to their cool looks and their cool concerts or whatever. But still, I would probably end up buying this one. And it goes to show that Daft Punk is very popular with LEGO Ideas. There's been some that have reached 10K before. It's something that I think LEGO is going to have to take a second look at, and it's one that has a little bit more possibility. But is it the one I think will be passed? Well, let's see the other ones. But that one was by Robot Rock. Really cool how they integrated LEGO Night Mode, which is something that LEGO hasn't even put out officially yet. Like, they've kind of teased at it. So that's quite interesting. And it is a very special thing where if you don't want a concert or whatever, but this Daft Punk concert design is so unique looking. It is its own thing. And you have the integration of lights and everything. So that, I think, has a big shot. The next one is a jazz quartet. And jazz is a fantastic genre of music. The design of this is not minifigure scale. It's brick-built figures. I'm looking like um, Miniland-esque, I guess, would be the best way to put it. Like the Legoland figures. And that's really cool. I like how they interpreted these instruments into this Miniland scale. But me personally, I wouldn't dig this. I think some pe other people might though, because again, I'm just not a sucker for like brick built figures and stuff like that. But does it have a chance? I, I think it has a good chance. I think it has a good chance. That was by, I can't even say that, but that guy right there. And Lego Gorillas. So Lego Gorillas, uh, Gorillas as a property, I tend to lean as more adult oriented, but I always saw them as like PG-13. I like a lot of Gorillaz songs. I like the animation of the Gorillaz, uh, you know, the whole animated idea of the Gorillaz. And it was something that I remember back in the day, they used to advertise <laughs> the Gorillaz album, uh, you know, with Feel Good Inc. Uh, on Nickelodeon. So I, I don't think it's as adult oriented as I may think. And I think you're going to get a lot of 2000s people, 2000s kids and teens and stuff like that supporting this and buying this uh personally though i love gorillas but i think it doesn't have the popularity as much as say a daft punk so i think this one has a less likelihood of uh, than the daft punk one but still really cool idea really cool interpretation of the characters who are so iconic uh if i had to pick my favorite gorillas song it's probably clint eastwood music modular so we always get modular submissions on lego ideas I mean, keep going at it, but I don't think they'll ever approve a modular. Who knows? Please prove me wrong. But I just feel like Lego likes to bank in on that one modular per year. 
either way, it's a cool idea and it's very different from um, other modulars that they put out, official modulars. Though we did have like a little recording booth in one of them, right? To Downtown Diner, if I'm not mistaken. I love the big guitar on the outside. That's just some cool framework. That's by, oh, oh is that, is that the okay I know? Ah, oh, crud, you have to log in. I, I, I'm quite curious if that is the okay. I, it is a, oh shoot, that's my boy. Oh my gosh, we haven't talked in so long. I didn't know he submitted this. Oh, I love I love him. He's he's he was a good friend of mine. We unfortunately fell out of contact. So now I'm I'm supporting that even more. I, okay, you know I hope that wins. But at the end of the day, I don't think it will because I just don't see modulars being passed on Lego ideas. Mister Radio. So Mister Radio is a pretty interesting design. Very niche of this. I what I would guess is an older style radio, right? I mean, again, I'm not versed in music or radio and stuff. Yeah, vintage tube radio inhabited by Mr. Radio himself. It's a cute story idea. It's like something you'd see on the Lego Masters. I think it is a little bit more niche though. I don't know how many people want to display this big vintage tube radio. And I think that's going to weigh it down, but uh, a very cool concept at the very least. So that's by Mr. Maestro. Mr. Radio by Mr. Maestro. Maestro, I hope I'm saying that right. Long live Queen. So this is like Daft Punk where there's been Queen projects that reach 10K. I think Queen of course, is, is more popular. Queen is one of the biggest bands in the whole world, you know? So I think it's more popular in that respect. However, I think this right here, very cool display. It might be a little bit, uh, like I, I felt like the music video ones were very specific to, uh, you know, very specific to what they represented. And I like the Bohemian Rhapsody reference, you know, but it feels a bit too big for what they're going here. But who knows? I think Queen is behind the Beatles, the second like most possible leg uh, band to become in Lego. And I think third would be Daft Punk. But I think this project has less likelihood than the Daft Punk one, because the Daft Punk one seems just a little bit less uh, specific in its design. I don't want to say niche, because people are getting mad when I was saying niche, but it's like, it's just more of this. I could see the Daft. I could see the Daft Punk one appealing to fans outside of Queen or outside of Daft Punk. I can't see the the Queen one appealing outside of fans of Queen. You see what I'm saying there? I hope I illustrated that pretty right. But that's by Brick Skipper. Anyways, Legendary Stratocaster by Tom. Uh, so this design, very specific to these instruments, the Stratocaster. These are electric guitars from my understanding, and I think LEGO is going to wait for the piano to come out, see how that does before they do these sets that are just a single brick-built instrument. And I say single because I doubt they would make all of these. I think they would make two maybe at most in the pack, but they like doing just an individual build. When you get a lot of samey builds, I think they'll feel that kind of turns people off from building it. I don't know. I'm making a lot of conjecture there, but that's why I don't think this one's going to pass. It's just not at the right time. Maybe after the piano comes out and it does well, something like this will pass again. Ludwig von Beethoven. Uh, this is a nice bust design, very specific, and I like how they made the music kind of fly off the page and everything. But again, I think Lego tends to move away from these brick-built character statues and stuff like that. We're just getting the busts from the Lego Star Wars and even Lego Avengers. But you see they don't have like human skin or anything like that. I think they, they try to do these, you know, human kind of uh, brick-built characters and stuff like that. But maybe I'm totally wrong with that and they'll end up doing this. But I think this one doesn't have as much likelihood, even though Ludwig von Beethoven, one of the most recognizable musicians in the whole world. And that was by Stephen Howard 27. The last organ grinder is the last one. And this is a really cool project. It's how it was brick built and everything. But I think it has not only the same problem that the Beethoven has, where Lego almost shies away from these brick built characters and everything. Uh, where we have minifigure scale and mini land scale is fine where they have promotions and stuff. But when you have it this big, I think they almost uh, try not to make sets based off of that. And this specifically uh, is very niche too. So it kind of has that rate Mr. Radio problem where it feels like a very vintage niche thing that I don't know a lot of people would display. I really appreciate the build by Rolden AG, but I don't think that one's very likely. So looking back, I think the if I had to pick three likely ones, it would be Gorillas, Jazz Quartet, and Daft Punk. 
I don't think the queen won because there's already queen in the other submission. I think that one has more likelihood. I think this is tied specifically to fans of queen. Again, still has that very recognizable Bohemian Rhapsody, but also has that problem of the brick-built characters and everything. So I don't think that one. But I think queen as a property will be in Lego soon enough. But for the gorillas, it definitely would attract 2000s kids and teens. <laughs> you know what I mean? But the design of it and everything, I think, could have appeal outside of the gorillas just because uh, the designs of these little parts right here, even though I don't recognize them right away because I'm not like a diehard gorillas fan. That looks cool. I like the knight's part usage and everything with all existing pieces. Works very well on the characters. I recognize that from the gorillas album, which is really nice. But the design at the end of the day, I think, is one that LEGO will shy away from because Gorillas, like I said, is just a little bit more adult. So it's a less of a safe choice. We know LEGO likes playing it safe, even though they've been loosening up recently with stuff like Stranger Things and everything. So I think that one doesn't have as much possibility as a top two. And I'll say this, the brick built character situation, the more I think about it, I think LEGO is not going to choose this one because the brick built Adventure Time set was one of the worst selling LEGO idea sets. And I think when LEGO sees that, they'll be like, okay we can't have brick built characters because we're probably gonna have another flop on our hand it's a shame because i think the brick built characters of the adventure time one looked way worse than this mini land scale-esque jazz quartet characters those are really well made even though they might not be something that i want specifically i think jazz has worldwide appeal the inclusion of these instruments also has worldwide appeal so if there was two sets i think this would be the second choice but i still don't think this will be the one they choose the one that they're probably going to choose is Daft Punk. It, it keeps getting selected for 10K, or at least it got selected that one time. I'm not sure if it got selected another time or whatever. But that just goes to show the popularity. Also, this being the most popular with the votes. It has appeal outside of the Daft Punk uh, community. And I actually want to take a look. I saw this earlier, but just the design of this is very interesting how they use these clear pieces and everything lego might have to clean that up a bit because i don't know how many pieces they could produce in clear and everything it does have that new night mode design hooked up or whatever but i think this will be the one that they choose it is very specifically tied to lego light bricks and lego night mode and it will be a little bit more expensive in that regard but i think this will also be a way that lego advertises their new night mode products Almost like how they re-released the Vesta's windmill advertising their sustainable plant pieces or whatever. So that's just my two cents. Let me know if I'm wrong in the comments below. My favorites are the Daft Punk one and the Gorillas one and Music Modular for my bias of Oki. But all these at the end of the day were pretty good submissions. So that's it for now. I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Bye.